Hello there, I am Giant Quill with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on uh, the Weather Institute, we kicked Team Magma out there, we got Cast Form, we took it in Mystic Water and gave it to uh, Metroid. And uh, we also battled May again for the third time. And she gave us the HMZ025, which I actually forgot to teach to, uh, to uh, Screamo, actually. So let me do that right now that, now that I remember. So, yeah, cut. We may not be able to use it outside battle yet because we need the Fortress City Gym Badge or 6 Gym Badge of Hoenn. But uh, we can still teach it to uh, Screamo for now. So, yeah, Screamo's the only one who can learn it because Screamo's the only, like, the only one who has wings, really, so that makes sense. She wants to fly, however, Screamo already has four moves. She may be deleted and replaced with fly, which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um, Peck. Yeah, let's get rid of Peck. We don't need Peck anymore. Do one, two, and poof. Screamo forgot how to use Peck. And. Screamo and Fly. Now let me look at my final moveset for Screamo, actually. Uh, its final moveset is going to be Stealing, Aerial Ace, Air Cutter, and Fly. So that's Stealing, it has Air Cutter, and it has Fly. We'll actually get Aerial Ace pretty soon, actually. So that's good to know. And what else did we do in the last part? We also took on Gabby and Ty for the third time in, our, in this project, this playthrough. And we went through Fortress City really quickly, actually. Just kind of went to the next route because there was unseeable, something unseeable that was blocking the gym and that area over there with the um, ladder. Actually, if we go on the, yeah, like right over there with the steps right there over there, like right ahead. Yeah, that's, oh look at Steven Stone, yeah, that was blocked up by something unseeable. Let's talk to Steven. Hi, um, oh shoot, I should have, I should have showed you guys that there was like a little shadow that you see in the water, but like it's an invisible and stuff, and I didn't show that there was something invisible in the way. Shoot. That's okay. Hi, hmm, Steven, hi. It's been a while. There's been something here and you can't, there's something here that you can't see, right? Not only if, if you were to use this device on the invisible obstacle. I think I misread that. Wow. No, no, no. Rather than describing it, I should show, just show you this. That would, that would be more fun. Steven, are you Pokemon ready to battle? Yes. Steven, show me the true power as a trainer. See that little shadow you saw right there? That looked like a little kind of frog thing? Well, we used the Devon scope. Uh, something, uh, something, something, Devon scope. Wow. An invisible Pokemon came, became clean face visible. The starting, started Pokemon attack, or whatever. Sorry to attack. I totally butchered all of the dialogue, pretty much. Wow. This is Kecleon. We saw this back in, uh, the Leverage Town City Gym where that cool trainer had a Kecleon. So now we can actually u catch this one in wild and use it for Pokedex and stuff. Let's go for the quick attack. I want to slowly just weaken it down. Let's see if Percy does a little bit more damage than quick attack. I think it will. Let's see here. It's a little bit more like a dark type, yeah. Cool, you're a dark type now. So you get some type of bonus with faint attack then. Jeez, that didn't help us at all. Let's send you back, let's make you a normal type again, because it does the ability color change, which will change, it'll change the type, uh, depending on what move is hit, it's hit by. So for example, quick attack stays, makes it stay a uh, normal type Pokemon, because it's a normal type move. One more qu quick attack should do it. it. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we fainted this for experience. What the heck? This stupid Kecleon. Wow, are you kidding me? It's level 30, but I know it's level 30, but still. Let's, turn, let's pull out the big guns then. I don't even want to wicked down anymore. You know, to make it easier, I'm just going to use an Ultra Ball on this thing. I have 10 Ultra Balls anyway, so. Yeah, let's go at it. Let's see. One, two, three, and there we go. We caught it. Awesome. Kekon was caught. Nice. Kekon Day was out of the Pokedex. Cool. It's number. It's 145 in the Hoenn Dex. Kekon, the color swap Pokemon. It's like a gecko or a chameleon, I guess you could say. It's three feet three inches tall. Its footprint kind of looks like a crown, honestly. Um, it's 40. It weighs 48.5 pounds. Kekon is capable of changing its body colors. Uh, will to blend in with its surroundings. There's there's one explanation, this Pokemon can't change the zigzag pattern on its belly. Because everything else turns like transparent stuff or blends in with the area. So yeah, I remember I think there was an episode of the anime where Ash was going up against this Pokemon trainer in the like the Pokemon League I think a uh, big tournament with a big stadium. This he was battling this trainer called Her named Harrison and he had a Kecleon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was his name and have the story right. So let's name you, uh, let's name you Gladys. I don't know. You're, you're a female Kecleon. Gladys is a girl name, I guess. I guess it could be a boy name too, but I'm not sure. Glad. Us. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I don't even know if it's spelled this right, but it still looks cool. Gladys. 
<laughs> I probably spelled that wrong, that's okay. Goddess was sent to the PC, cool. I see, your, st your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon are obviously grown since you first met you in Dufort. I I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows, there might be other concealed Pokemon. There's actually two, for sure. There's actually um more one actually on a later route, actually. That's cool, Steven. Yeah, enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. He's gonna use Fly. His is gonna use Fly. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Does that have a Pelon still? Um. Let me see. Okay, no, don't. Okay, good. I think I checked. So, Fighter up front. Um, I'll put Scream up front, I guess. Because Fighter. Well, let's, let's actually keep Fighter up front. Because, you know, Guts. His ability Guts will kick in, you know. Because it's paralyzed. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, we can paint this kick line for experience. Yeah, something else you feel on the way. Do you like these? Is it Yes. And Invisible Pokemon. An in, invisible Pokemon became completely visible. Sorry, the wild Pokemon. Was the start of wild Pokemon attacked. Uh, Pokemon attacked. Not wild in that sentence. It's just started Pokemon. Jeez. Okay, and then some of these kick wins actually just run away and flee. I think the one in front of the gym when you use the um Devon Scope definitely flees. So yeah, they don't all attack you and battle you. Let's go for the um. Let's go for Arm Thrust, I guess. Not Arm Thrust, but Vital Throw. Uh, of course, it's gonna cover its weaknesses with Psy Beam. Shoot, that was a critical hit. Don't be paralyzed, don't be paralyzed, don't be paralyzed. Good. So this kick land is level 30. And it takes, oh, we take it on one hit. Awesome. I think it was 30 and female too. I think some of the kick is male, some of them are female. Here is a nest ball. It works, this puck ball works well on Pokemon that are lower level. Here's not instant in the wall right here for a sugar base. Let's, uh, our, our, um, super repel should be still up, so yeah. Is this where I get the TM for Dragon Claw? I'm hoping. This is a Scorch Slab. TM 11. This is, no, this is for Sunny Day. TM 11 is for Sunny Day. Shoot. I think TM, uh, for the team for Dragon Claw is, uh, in the Meteor Falls, which we need a waterfall to get to that part of the area of Meteor Falls. So, let's see. TM 11 is Sunny Day. I was right. Cool. Yeah, this is up to power of Fire type moves and it's last for at least five turns. Or maybe just five turns, period. And then it also, uh, Solar Beam takes one turn instead of just two. So that's cool. Oh, there's an Ninja Boy down there. Can see that tree. <laughs> that's funny. Because that tree doesn't fit in with every, the trees around it. So that's definitely a Ninja Boy. You can't trick me, man. Go up the steps, please. Thank you. So I think I'm done right here. So we'll come, we'll actually backtrack to this area later. But I want to take on the gym next. So yeah. Who do I have up front? I have a, Fighter, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna reach him. Actually, I'm gonna wait till I heal my Pokemon and get a uh, get it back Twitch out of the PC. Nice. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so my repel wolf when I was in the Pokemon Center. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Let's put Metroid up front, and then Twitch, and then. Scar then Smokey, I guess, and then Skarmory, and then Grovile, and then uh, Fighter and Gecko. Gecko. So I, I'd be interested in, like, uh, you know, since the gym is flying type, you know, Metroid and Twitch should do really well because Twitch has Shockwave and Metroid knows Ice Beam, then Smokey knows a lot of fire type moves, Screamer knows dealing and all that good stuff, like Swift and, uh, uh, I just learned, uh, what, what moves does it have again? Fly, it doesn't, it just went fly, okay, cool. And then Fighter is weak to flying type Pokemon, and so is Gecko. I mean, Geico. I always say Gecko for some reason. Geico, I mean. Jeez, like, I don't even know. Let's just scare that Kekler in a way, because it's gonna, f it says the what Pokemon fled when, uh, we use the Devon Scope on it. Something as he pulls in the way, which I can use the Devon Scope, yes. We use the Devon Scope. And if Pokemon became completely visible, it startled, the Star Pokemon f the startled Pokemon fled, and it just walks into the forest, really. It's kind of scary, you know? It's just a uh, kick around just walking into the forest like a horror movie. Let's read the sign of the gym, actually. Uh, Fortree City Pokemon Gym Leader, Wyona. The bird user takes taking flight into the world. That's cool, I like that little quote. It's a quotation mark, so it's, it's gotta be a quote, man. Or something cool. So yeah, let's read the statue real quick. Fortree City Pokemon Gym. Okay, cool. And here's the advice giver. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Steven? Uh, 
before Chi Jim Waiter Wayona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She is waiting in the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for any challengers who are trying to take wing. Okay, go for it. So he sure said like use logic and ice type and rock type Pokemon really. So just push that one down like that and then push it through like this. Fail. Okay, obviously the first puzzle part of the puzzle is tricking me. Just go right on through because it's the first part of the thing you have to rotate. So let's take on this bird keeper. Uh, behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. That's cool. What's this is a bird keeper. He is a his name is Jared. Okay, yeah, cool. He has a do duo. It's level 30. That's cool, man. That's cool. Let's go for the ice beam. It's gonna be super effective. So let's see, the studio is level 30 in male if I don't already say that. I think I I feel like I repeated myself, but that's okay. Just want to make sure I said that. And yeah, we defeated awesome. You, you're strong. Thanks. Thanks for the 960 Poké Dollars, too. Okay, so we got go in this... Yeah, the picnic are nice. I think you always have to battle maybe three or four trainers in this gym because they're kind of unavoidable due to the puzzle that is at stake and stuff. Okay, one it took me, taught me personally, you can't beat me easily. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. This picnicker is named... Who is your name? Kaylee. Okay, Kylie. Actually, it's K-Y-L-E-E. -E. I think that I pronounced I think I spelled her name right. Okay, let's go for the surf. Because this one is only level 30. Well, it's only level 30. It's a uh, level 30 and female. Okay, maybe Ice Beam could have... Oh, shoot. Critical hit. Maybe Ice Beam could have one hit KO'd it, actually, now that I think about it. You know what? Fear attack my hit twice. That's good. Let's go for the Bubble Beam next. So this should take out the Swabu. There we go, nice. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Kylie, awesome. I was beaten. Thanks for 400 Pokemon Dollars. I'm sorry, but better luck next time. We go, I'm gonna go down like this and then go around it. There we go. Um, we wanna do that, I guess. We wanna actually move this right here. And then, uh, go back here and do that. I guess we have- I think I did that right, right? It's been a long time since I've done the puzzle. I like the sound it makes when you push it, you know, that's kind of- kind of satisfying, I guess. Here's the camper. There's no need to- need for Wyona or Gym Waiter to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. We'll see about that. I'm gonna try to beat you in a Pokemon battle, man. I have six Pokemon that are in their 30s right now. Awesome. Taylor, okay, cool. Let's say you surf on this thing. Guess Quick Attack on us, of course, on Metroid. Good for you. This tail is level 29 male. And it goes down one hit. Awesome. Okay, now you have a swole. We'll use Ice Beam on the swole. Nice. This swole is level 29 male. And it's gonna go down. It's gonna go downtown. Nice. Okay, we defeat Camper Terrell. Um, I think it's about pronounce it. Why don't I? I lost. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for 464 Poké Dollars, though. I think there's only a couple more trainers left. Now, I remember for this puzzle, there might only be one left, actually. For this puzzle, you want to make sure this is like a square. So, uh, yeah, I think I remember the pattern for this one. Or the puzzle for this one. Uh, let's take on this Bird Keeper. This lover, the lover is a bird Pokémon aspire to this gym. As a member of the Fortress Museum, I will allow, I won't, I'll, I'm not allowed to lose. Okay. Well, make sure you lose, though, because I'm not losing. I hope not. If I lose, I black out and I have to go back to Pokemon Center. The Fortree Pokemon Center. And I have to give you money for you winning then. You know? <laughs> Let's go for the Sludge Bomb on this thing. This is a Wingo level 28 male. Let's see if this one KOs it. It does. Awesome. Okay, the Swallow next. Okay, that's pretty cool. We have three Pokemon. A Wingo with Swallow, and I don't know. If I already guessed your last Pokemon, it's probably like a Swablu or something, if I already guess. Swablu, yeah. The pre evolved form of uh, Altaria, which is like the cloud looking Pokemon with the, the wings. Its wings looks like clouds or something. So, yeah. So, Metroid is now level 34. Awesome. Okay, but Pelipper, nice. Let's actually go to uh, Twitch because Twitch has Shockwave and it's four. And P Pelipper is water flying type, so it's four week, four times a week to uh, uh, attack moves. Oh, you see the cool backspread of Twitch finally, nice. So let's go for the Shockwave. This game's protect, of course it is. Jeez, Twitch, come on, you can do it. Oh no, sorry, you can. It's protected itself, so it's gonna, you know, be protected by the attack. It tries to protect again, but this time. It doesn't work, so shockwave hits. Awesome. 
This pelper is level 28 in male. And it goes down one hit. Awesome. So yeah. Nice. Twitch is pretty much halfway to level 35 now. We defeated Bookkeeper Will. Uh, it, was too it was too much of a load for me to bear. Thanks for 896 pocket dollars, man. I think he, I think Wyona starts off with a Swabu. So push this one back down there and push this one right here. So that's a square. Oh man, I messed it up though because I didn't push back the thing. Dang it. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. But what I have to do is I have to go down on this one like that. Push down on this one and then make this one a square and then it should be able to go through to Wyona, which which is the gym leader and stuff. As you probably already know because we had the sign and everything. And the trainers were talking about her. Okay, um, yeah. Let's uh, heal up our, um, our, uh, our, um, shoot, I forget the name. Crap, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Um, Metroid. Oh, I don't know why I forgot nick my nickname for, uh, Tentacruel. Jeez. Okay, let's use a super potion. We have 14 after this. Cool. So, I think she starts off with a uh, swallow. So I'm gonna put Metroid up to the front, I guess. So yeah, I'll keep Metroid up to the front, I should say. Let's, and let's talk to Wyona, the sixth gym leader of Hoenn. And I forgot to say, like, the fifth gym leader of Hoenn for Norman, the fourth gym leader of Hoenn for Flannery, the third gym leader of Hoenn for Watson, the second gym leader of Hoenn for, uh, Brawley, and the first gym leader of Hoenn for, uh, Roxanne. But that's all water in the bridge now, let's talk to Wyona. Okay, yeah. I am Wyona. I am the gym- I am the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and I and have sword disguise. However, j uh, grueling the battle, um, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Wyona well, is pretty cool. She has a Skarmie. That's awesome. Skarmie is such a good Pokemon. Would you Wyona would like to battle? Could we? She, yeah, I was right. She has a Swallow. Just, she shouldn't have a Swallow first. So let's go for the ice beam, see how much it does. Okay, gonna use double team. Uh, as well as gonna use double team. Okay, this is gonna be fun because it, chance of missing, but luckily ice beam hit that time. So let's see if it wanna kills it. Oh, it does. Awesome. Nice. So yeah, that's easy. Over a thousand experience. A thousand seventy five, I believe, is what it said. Awesome. Alteria. We'll stay in. Now, Alteria is with the two Pokemon types. Two Pokemon type moves. Dragon and Ice. But it's four times weak to Ice type Pokemon moves because it's Flying and Dragon. So, I'd recommend you have Ice Beam. So, that's why I went to the Bandit Ship and got Ice Beam and taught it to Metroid. For this, like, for example, for this battle. Because it's a lot easier if you have Ice Beam or something. An Ice type move for this Alteria. Ooh, could quit. Nice. I'll take it. Awesome. So that Altera is level 33 and female. I forgot to, I think that for Swallow is level 31 and female as well. I probably just didn't say it when the Swallow is still out. So yeah, Metroid's really, doing really good. Okay, so Skarmory's next. So I'm gonna go to um, Smokey actually, because fire type moves are super effective in Skarmory because it's half steel type. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, Smokey's almost at 100 HP, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for the, let's go all out with overheat. Jeez, let's do it. I'm feeling pretty good. Overheat, yeah, Skarmory is level 32 and female, so that's pretty cool. With le one level higher than it, so that's awesome. When it kill, we've been one-shotting all our Pokemon so far. I think our last Pokemon, I forget what our last Pokemon is, honestly. I honestly forget. What is it? Um, it's a Pelipper, okay. So let's go to um, Switch then, and use Shockwave. Nice, okay. Pelper, okay cool, let's use Shockwave on this thing. It's four times weak to um, ultra type moves, because again, as I said earlier in this video, when that last uh, bird keeper out of Pelper, it's uh, water and flying, so it's four weak times weak to um, ultra type moves like Shockwave. Well, we one shot pretty much all our Pokemon, if not all of them. I'm pretty sure we pretty, I'm pretty sure we one shot all our Pokemon, wow. Okay, we defeated uh, Wyona, Lido Wyona. Uh, never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with so much grace, with more grace than I. Uh, in recognition of your, on your prowess, uh, I present you this gym badge. We get 3,300 Poké Dollars for winning. Awesome, thanks Wyona. We received the Feather Badge from Wyona. Awesome. Nice. 
With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those you've received through trades, will obey you of command. You can even, you'll be also be able to use the HM move fire outside of battle. And this, this is a gift for me. TM40, which is area so you didn't get to see in the fight, but it's a really good fine type move that never misses, but it always goes first, I believe. I think at least I know that it never misses. TM40 air, contains area ice. It's speed, no Pokemon can, should be able to avoid it. So it's awesome. Let's hop over these ledges to make a easy way back to the front of the gym. It's like Devesk, if you did it, your chief lift off. Thanks, man. Oh uh, yeah, Fortress City Pokemon Gym, Wyona's Wyona Certified Trainer Steven. Awesome. So if you look at our badge case, our trainer card, we have a feather badge. The feather badge kind of looks really cool. Looks more like a wing than a feather, honestly, but I don't know. Who am I to judge? Let's actually teach uh, TM40 to uh, Aerialist to, uh, to, uh, like I'm forgetting the name, uh, Screamo, there we go, my Scrummy. Yeah. So yeah, Aerialist, cool. Let's look at its five moves. That's Stealing, Aerialist, Air Cutter, and Fly. Okay, so let's teach it to, um, I guess, I think Gorilla can learn it, cool. Gecko, Gecko can learn it, yeah. Screamo wants to learn the move Aerialist. However, Screamo already knows four moves. Should we delete, should we really delete it and replace it with Aerialist? Yes. We should, we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of a Swift. Yeah, let's get rid of Swift. Yeah. 1, 2, and poof. Screamer forgot how to use Swift and Screamer learned Aerialist. Cool. So yeah, that's awesome. So I'll make, make sure I have the uh, summary all the way. Or the moveset the correct way. So Air Cutter. Okay, so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. No, I didn't. I meant to press A. Shoot. I'm messing up. I'm choking. I'm choking. I'm, I'm getting nervous or something. Okay, so Stealing, Aerialist, Air Cutter, and Fly. That's a... That's a Screamer's final move sets, that's pretty cool. Let's rearrange our Pokemon too. Um, let's, let's put a. My phone just dinged. I got a notification. It might be YouTube, it might be a text, I don't know. Actually, if it was a text, it'd kind of vibrate and do the ding. So yeah, Twitch and Fighter and Smokey and Screamo. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We even got up front, I guess. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, but I'll be I'll be right back here in front of this treehouse in a second. Okay, we have a uh, uh, Geico up front, so that's pretty cool. And let's head off to uh, the next route, I guess. So let's pass the bridge that we were on, though. Dang it, I don't want to I don't want to end up with Pokemon. I'm trying not to. Okay, good. So across this bridge is a new route, I believe. No, but it's actually not. <laughs> Um, I guess we can do a couple of battles. We only, I'm only at 23 minutes in recording time, so that's good. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? Yes, I do, but, uh, my Geico does not pro- well, not very effective moves, I guess. Exclu excluding, uh, um, be a couple. Oh, it doesn't- oh, it doesn't appreciate this, that's actually good. We're in- we're in the ba- we got this in the bag, guys. It's raining? Okay, cool. Let's use Pursuit. It's gonna be super effective, because it's not too, it's half, um, Half a psychic type, there we go. And Dr. Moose is super effective against psychic type Pokemon. Yeah, rain continues to fall. Nightshade does the equivalent. For example, Natu is level 29, so it did 29 HP on Geico. Yeah, there we go. Use the quick attack to finish it off. And Geico is now level 13, 33. I must have 13, wow. Very keep as much as well, okay. So I'll use, um, we scream, I guess. Scarmory. <laughs> so well level this as well as level 29 in male, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for the aerial ace. It's gonna use quick attack on Screamo. Oh, it does 3 HP though. So yeah, it's aerial ace hits, and let's use another aerial ace. It does a little bit over half, so that's good. That's a good situation to be in. Let's use quick attack again on us, or on Screamo. Does another 3 HP. Yeah, there we go. This well goes down. Awesome. Nice. We defeated Brookkeeper, um, I forgot to read your name. Darn it, <laughs> you sort of bugged me. Thanks for the 1,855 Pokedars, though. This is a rainy route. <laughs> I remember in my original Pokemon Ruby walkthrough guide, I, one of the video tiles was like, rain, rain, go away. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to, let's switch to, um, Screamer, actually. No, I didn't mean to go to Summary. I meant to switch. There we go, nice. So yeah, like, my two Pokemon that are still level 32 are, uh, Screamo and Fighter. And then two of my Pokemon are level 33, Smokey and Geico. And then two of my Pokemon are level 34, Twitch and Metroid. Cool. 
I think she has this core trainer has a myelotic. I mean, I have a Pokemon in my press so if only one of them is missing, the p picture of beauty is, will be ruined. I'm sorry to hear that. She probably has a myelotic. This is gonna be a hard battle because my tick has a lot of high defense, but I could be wrong. So, oh, it's a cast form. Okay, now I'm not worried at all, really. <laughs> awesome. It's raining, so it's gonna turn into water type, apparently. Cool. So I range up cast form now. Let's go for the Aerois. This cast form is level 30 and female. This is about one third. Okay, volleyball. Okay, that shouldn't do too much. What the heck? Critical hit? How did it do that much? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna switch over to Geico. How did volleyball do that? Oh, that was a critical hit, but like, seriously, that was a critical hit? It still did a decent amount of damage, uh, even if it's. Even if it, um, is. I don't, I don't even know anymore. I, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop my thought at that. Like, I'm just shocked, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, you're stricted, you're stricted by the, stricted by the hell, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. Okay, let's use, um, Leaf Blade, I guess. It'd be better if it's still a water type, honestly. It's ice type now. But yeah, Leaf Blade finishes off. That's awesome. So apparently that stupid cast form did give me a lot of trouble. Okay, we defeat Parasol Lady Angelica. Yeah, you completely ruined my beauty. Sorry, man. Th sorry, lady. <laughs> Thanks for the 2,400 pocket dollars. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this. I'm probably gonna use this another sort of pop, actually. There we go, nice. Okay. I don't even know anymore, really. I was, that cast one really caught me off guard. Here's a ninja boy. I think this will be the last battle of the video, actually. We ninjas can see ourselves under camouflage cloaks. I bet you didn't know that where I was. I pointed out in the last part that you were hiding. If it wasn't the last part, it was actually this part. Uh, it was either one. Either this part or the last part. I pointed you out and kind of exposed you. Sorry. Okay, so Scar Maria. This Ninkata is half bug type, so fine to move be super effective. Let's go for the air cutter. And it hits awesome. This guy's level 28 in male and it goes down. Awesome. Nice. Uh, Tanado. Tasano. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Okay, yeah. It's, it's about to turn the coffin will stay in with Screamo. Fuse is a poison type move. It won't affect Skarmor at all because Skarmor is half steel type. And steel, po steel type Pokemon are immune to poison. Let's go for the fly. Let's just try it out. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Rain continues to fall, of course it does. Of course, it does. Self-destruct, okay, since Screamer was half steel type, it's, it's, it's gonna not be very effective actually, so, yeah. We get cool experience, yeah, we get enough experience to almost level up. Okay, Ninja, so would Steven like to change Pokemon? Nope, I'm gonna keep Screamer in. Let's so go to, um, let's use Aeros on this thing, or Screamer should use Aeros on this thing. So let's do that, yeah. Double team, okay. In this case, Ariel shouldn't miss, so that's good. This ninja is this ninja is level 28 in males. So that's awesome. Nice. And it, it takes it on one hit. Awesome. There we go. Skims on level 33. Awesome. We defeated Ninja Boy Tenasa, Tenasa, or whatever. I lost. I should have camouflaged. My shame. Don't feel too bad, man. You'll get better. Thanks for the 672 pocket dollars, man. So let's switch a uh, fighter and uh, screamo, I guess. All my Pokemon have a held item except for Twitch so far. Maybe we'll find an item to give to Twitch for held item soon. Now this is the um this is the cool trainer with uh, the mile tick I believe. But I'm gonna end the part right here. So this is my Pokemon Ruby Rito like part. The next part we'll take on this uh um this cool trainer right here. I'm pretty sure I'm like ninety percent sure has a mile tick as the only Pokemon, but it's really tough because it's very defensive. And I'm also going to heal up off screen. I'm going to fly back to Fortress City and heal up and meet you guys back right here. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to mention goodbye and I'll see you guys next time. Pokemon Ruby, we do walk through guide.